Good evening. At this time, I'd like to call the Tuesday, September 5th, City Council meeting to order. Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Santee? Here. Alderman Schaefer? Here. Alderman Glad? Here. Alderman Mahevic? Here. Alderman Devine? Here. Alderman Condon? Here. Alderman Curry? Here. Thank you. Thank you. Please stand for the pledge. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> The first item on the agenda is uh, the public comment portion. This is an opportunity to give a comment of items on the consent agenda or items not on the individual action items. Please step forward and say your name for the record. I see that there is a uh, Stephen Schweinberg from yeah. Prairie Land. Yes. If you'd like to step up to the podium and introduce yourself, please. Good evening, uh, my name is Steven Swinesburg. Uh, I'm a route manager with Prairie Line Disposal. And uh, I just have some information on uh, how the trash service has been going uh, so far since the August 1st. Um, I just have some information for everybody here, if you will. In our computers, uh, we have exactly 9,300 homes uh, that have uh, contacted us and have given us their information in regards uh, as far as subscription and uh, as a recycling container. Um, of, the, of that 9,300, 39, 36 have uh, so the subscription service, which they're paying for a uh, trash cart. Um, we have a 47, uh, 64 have been paying for the stickers with the sticker program, and 58 uh, residents have opted out of all the service. Uh, so far, there's been 39 
1,500 stickers sold. Um, uh, so far, uh, the uh, out of subscription users on your charts, uh, 2,800 uh, have the 95 gallon carts and everything. Um, and so far, as far as switch outs go, uh, people who have received their carts and uh, their recycling containers, everyone received the 95 unless they're in the town home, they received the 35. Uh, 358 of those uh, residents have called to switch out their containers. Um, in the lower portion of the paper, I, the, it's just a breakdown of the routes and the tonnages we've been hauling. And this is just for uh, ever since August 1st. Uh, the total tonnage uh, of trash is 520 tons. But yeah, 520 tons and of trash and 230, 273 of uh, recycling. Uh, and that comes out to be a 34% recycling rate, which is extremely well. Uh, the other cities and villages that we uh, haul is about 28 to 30%. And so it did extremely well. Um, so far, uh, there's been 23 residents who have dropped off TVs at our facility. Um, and we have, on average, about two calls a day on cans going missing. Uh, and as far as residents uh, stealing cans from other residents. And I believe uh, the police department did contact us uh, over the weekend. They did, uh, they caught somebody stealing a can and they did issue a citation for it. Uh, so far, there are uh, 60 cans that are missing that, are, that have been stolen. So there are people that are, have been stealing cans and, uh, and they're getting free service essentially. I, our drivers are staying vigilant and trying to ca catch these people who are stealing the service. But so far, everything has been uh, extremely smooth and it's going good. Thank you. Thank you, Stu. Um, I'd like to just say also, Prairie Land has done a phenomenal job. Um, I've called and uh, talked to your staff a few times uh, through the process, just clarifying things, and uh, great service. So I've been very happy with it. So thank you. And I'm sure staff as well, and council. So thank you. Thank you. Anyone else from the public that would like to speak? at this time. All right, uh, moving on to uh, the consent agenda. Uh, at this time, I ask any of the council that are wanting to pull any items <coughs> for separate discussion or, uh, or consideration. <coughs> See none. Uh, looking for a motion to approve the following consent agenda, items 5A through 5I. I Sorry, 5A to 5J. J is. Oh, uh, wait, wait, this one, this one's wrong. It is I. I'm sorry. This, this is not the correct one. You're right. Still okay, it is 5I. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and look for a motion to approve 5A through 5I. Alderman Sandy? I'll make the motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Thank you. All in the table? I'll second it. Thank you. Any discussion? I have no questions. All in the table, any questions? No questions. Council, any questions? Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Curry? <coughs> yes. Alderman Condon? Yes. Alderman Devine? Yes. Alderman Mahevic? Yes. Alderman Glad? <coughs> yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Santee? Yes. All eyes, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, the next item on the agenda is uh, individual action item 6A. Uh, I will open up for pu uh, council discussion and then followed by public input and then go back to council for uh, uh, motion and discussion at that point. So uh, item 6A, I'm looking, uh, we're looking at a transfer of a class F1-2 liquor license held by McHenry Liquors Incorporated, DBA McHenry Liquors, from the current location at 1722 North Richmond Road to a new location located at 1782 North Richmond Road and McHenry Plaza Shopping Center. 
Uh, Derek, if you don't mind, please uh, present this. Yeah, item. I have I have nothing else to add other than uh, that's an existing owner, an existing business. They're just moving uh, to a different address uh, near their uh, existing location, and the uh, new license will uh, their move and the new license will take effect the September 11th of 2017. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so right now I'm uh, going to discussion from council. Alderman Schaefer. I was ready to make a motion. I have no discussion. Any other discussion through council? No. All right. Question: it is, it, They have not They haven't opened a new location, right? Because I, I see in in his information he, had, he originally said nine one and it's changed from the eight pen to nine eleven. Yeah, it was a typo. Typo. Yeah. Typo. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Any other discussion on this item? Uh, at this time, I'm looking for public comment uh, on this item. Is there anyone in the public that would like to make a public comment? I see none. Uh, going back to council, I'm looking for a motion to approve the transfer of the Class F1-2 liquor license held by McHenry Liquors Incorporated, DBA McHenry Liquors, from the current location at 1722 North Richmond Road to a new location located at 1782 North Richmond Road in the McHenry Plaza Shopping Center. Alderman McCurry. I'll make that motion as read. Alderman Glenn? Second. Uh, any discussion on this item? Alderman Glenn? Yeah. Basically, he's moving because of uh, he needs more space. Correct? Correct. Which is a good thing. Yes, it is. So, just wanted to, to state uh, that and the fact that uh, he does have several other businesses in town as well. And, uh, uh, definitely a plus <coughs> to uh, the city as far as the type of business uh, he's run so far. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Any other discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Schaefer? <coughs> yes. Alderman Glad? Yes. Alderman Mahevic? Yes. Alderman Devine? Yes. Alderman Condon? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Alderman Santee? Yes. All eyes in there. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is 6B. Uh, we are looking for a use variance from zoning ordinance article 4 residential districts to allow a two family dwelling at 3615 Waukegan Road. At this time, Doug, if you could please present this item. Thank you, Mayor Jett. The applicant is seeking a use variance from article 4 residential districts to allow a two family dwelling at 3615 Waukegan Road. I just want to clarify in the agenda supplement, there is an error. Under the recommendation, it says if the council concurs with Planning and Zoning Commission, in the Planning and Zoning Commission minutes, it says it's that the Planning and Zoning Commission recommended approval of a uh, two-story dwelling as opposed to a two-family dwelling. Um, I did listen to the minutes. They're unapproved at this time, but I listened to the tape on Friday, and uh, it is a two-family uh, uh, dwelling, so that that is a an error on the minutes. Um, so um, that's like a, a grammatical error <coughs> typo, basically. So the ordinance, as it is in the supplement, is correct. So um, essentially, the planning and zoning recommendation is if the city council concurs, it is recommended to approve the attached ordinance granting a use variance from Article 4 residential districts to allow a two-family dwelling at 3615 Waukegan Road. I uh, apologize for the error, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Doug. At this time, I'll open up for discussion from Council. Alderman Santee. Is there um, one or two water meters for this building right now? There's, there's uh, one. Okay. And are we able to um, receive the correct um, cost for each unit then in regards to shouldn't there be the that debt service on both bills and is that done correctly or yes, we're doing that currently it's two units okay and each get the bill base charges okay and two debt services going to each address so it's per unit so two units so debt service and all base charges are on per unit basis okay thank you any other discussion on the web? Yeah. Um, I've looked at this uh, you know, as I usually do. I look at it at different angles. Uh, everything on that street is, is basically RS1. Uh, there are a lot of those properties that are grandfathered over there uh, from years back when they first created this zoning. Uh, makes 
case you wonder why they uh, created the RA1 zoning other than the buffering and uh, what they had expected to see uh, in the future as far as development here. Um, and I just feel that if we're making variances like that, uh, we're never going to move ahead to see the development that we created the zoning for over there. I guess, to some extent, uh, the decision had been made by a past council many, many years ago as far as what they wanted to see in the future as far as down on Waukegan Road uh, being a buffer between the commercial and the residential. Uh, if we want to see it to develop that way, then I just look at it and say that, that we shouldn't be approving variances like this unless we have a stipulation of a time frame or something else or something else that triggers it so when development does start over there to what we'd like to see that this would also comply in there but if you give a variance then we just to say everything else could redevelop to the RA1 and because this has a variance uh, it wouldn't happen but I guess I guess the problem winds up more than anything else is it really hasn't been looked at for a long long time and uh, I guess if we approve this tonight, then are we are we saying that uh, we're not interested in what was planned many years ago? And maybe maybe this council has a different outlook on what they'd like to see over there. Maybe they'd like to see the neighborhood stay the way they 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 look right now, and everything's fine. Uh, but that's something that you know the council needs to look at. And future as far as for development of that area as well as others and that's why I keep saying you know we need more uh, uh, committees of the whole to discuss future planning what is it that we want to see over here uh, at that time uh, they were, with RA1 they were talking more townhomes and, uh, and uh, duplexes and is that what we want to see or, or not anymore I mean <coughs> Probably since that uh, decision was made, we've probably seen probably eight or nine different councils that uh, have changed, uh, uh, several different mayors, uh, an economy that tanked uh, with the housing market and everything else, and, and maybe it's a different avenue we need to look at. But uh, the way I look at it is, is that vision is still there, that it was created for RA1 with um, with the idea that it would eventually turn into duplexes and con or townhouses. And my opinion is, is you don't want to put a hardship on people buying it or versus selling it as much. I wouldn't have a problem. I could support a certain time frame or a certain something in the ordinance that would trigger it. But to, to just blatantly just give the variance, I, I, I just have a hard time trying to support that. You know, only because, uh, if nothing else, we have not, as a council, ever decided to go in any other direction than what was originally planned. That's all I have. Thank you. Any other discussion from council? Only Kevin? So does, so if we approve this variance, that stays with the location, not the owner? Correct. Um, years ago, we were doing the um, economic development committee was doing um, overlays. Did, I don't remember having one here. There, there was a core downtown plan. Then there was a core downtown sub area. This was outside uh, of that. Sub area. Yeah, it was. It was. I think it was originally, and I was talking about. I think it was originally looked at in the downtown plan that was done. A long time ago. Twenty o two, Waukegan. Uh, main historic area, but then after that, I don't think it was part because it's not within the PIP area. Well, I do think Alderman Glad makes a point that <coughs> we should exclusive of whatever we do tonight. I, I think we probably should take a look at that area in general to see what our thoughts are, where we want that area to go if it resolves. I. My, I, I mean, can I, can I say? Sure. 
I mean, I mean, we had extensive conversation. I think it makes a lot of valid points. I mean, you know, our plans are, and our ordinance don't match in a lot of ways. Our, they're out of date. This, this zoning ordinance with this RA1 was 30 years ago. Um, our future land use map hasn't been updated in 12 years. So our, our comp plan text hasn't been updated in nine years. So, and um, I've talked to Mayor Jed uh, briefly and, and kind of have a plan with, uh, want to lay out a plan and a strategy to pursue that. So I, I, think, I think that needs to happen. I just want to do that on a more holistic level. Yeah, and I would agree with that. But for the time being, I, I think um, it was it was built for that purpose, and at this point, I'm I'm okay moving forward with this property as uh, presented tonight. But I would like to see us take a look at it overall. Thank you, Alderman Curry. Do Do we know how long this um, property has been in the configuration that it is today? You know, it, does it predate the 30 years? I guess uh, the snow, the zoning change. In 86, it was zoned RA1. Um, so RA1 is attached residential. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, the, the applicant is here, Mayor. Yeah, Kevin, uh, Kevin's here. If you want to step up to the podium, introduce yourself. Good evening. I'm uh, Kevin Schechtel, the owner of 3615 Waukegan Avenue. Uh, we, we purchased the home in 2006. Uh, at that time as a uh, investment property and at the time both units upper and lower were occupied uh, through the course of the year you know, my wife and I decided that we'd like to sell the residence and that's kind of where we're at today. Uh, it was recently brought to my attention upon um, a uh, potential buyer who's seeking a loan was instructed that in its cur current situation due to the fact that January 1 I chose not to rent the lower unit uh, in hopes that it may accelerate the sale of the home. It essentially, by in doing so, lapsed 30 days and reverted back to its prior zoning. Uh, this was all new to me, so this is why I'm here today. Uh, currently, we are seeking uh, to sell the home, and uh, we're having a hardship doing so. Thank you, Kevin. Any questions for that? Well, and you don't know the history as to when it was? I don't. I can give you an opinion. Um, you know, just based on the siding, that's aluminum siding, it's quite old. Um, I would have to guess at least 30 years old, and that's the entire home matches. So I would have to guess that, you know, it's hard to say. It's a very old home. It was built in the mid-1800s. So at what point in time this, you know, attached residence occurred, I would know honestly for be certain. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it. Any other discussion? Yeah, yeah, just one other question. Did I, you know, I looked at this and um, I guess I'm, I'm struck. This is a, I guess we call it a two flat, right? You know, uh, one, 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 one area below and one above. And yet the zoning that is in place today essentially allows that not above below but allows side by side right I mean in general terms right whether it's a town home or whether it's an what we call it an attached residential so I guess the <coughs> question is why is this so different or is it different you know we have we have we have uh, two family attached single family a town a townhouse and a single family detached yeah. and and the difference between the two family is, and then we have a, a multi-family, uh, which is three or more units, two families, two dwelling units, um, attached, uh, single family, and the only difference is, is side by side, separated by a common vertical wall, zero lot line, each on its own lot. Townhouse, townhouse is the same thing on one lot, both in groupings of six or less dwelling units. So a lot of communities define these differently. Uh, why this was RA1, I, I, I'm not sure. I, well, what would this, if, what would this actually be zoned if it was zoned for, for its current use? RRM. Just RM, okay. 
Which, one. <coughs> which could be an issue. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I, I think RM would be concerning because I don't think, you, you know, you could build more than, than two units. You, you could potentially go higher. You know, it could alter the area, the look. Um, I, I don't think it would be right for this area. Okay, thank you. Any other discussion? I'm going to go ahead and ask the public if there's any public uh, comment or input on this item. I see none. Going back to council, uh, I'm looking for a motion to approve the use variance from zoning ordinance article 4, residential districts, to allow a two-family dwelling at 3615 Waukegan Road. Alderman Santi? I will make that motion as presented. Thank you. <coughs> Second? Alderman Duane? Thank you. Any other discussion on this item? Alderman Santi? No, I, I just, uh, I agree with Alderman uh, Condon, especially in regards to let's take a look at this and uh, uh, if this is something, you know, that has occurred back in 01, 02, that maybe we do need to revisit it and uh, give our staff a council guiding light of what we'd like to see this council, you know, this council can give them a guiding light of what we see uh, should develop in, in the future in regards to that two or three block area. Thank you. Any other discussion on this item? Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Santee? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Glab? No. Alderman Mahevic? Yes. Alderman Devine? Yes. Alderman Condon? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Council. Uh, the next item uh, on the agenda is to approve, this, uh, approve fiscal year 2017-18 annual appointments of the Economic Development Commission members. Uh, Doug, if you wouldn't mind uh, presenting this item. Thank you, Mayor Jett. Um, Mayor Jett and I met with um, 12 uh, applicants. We, we had a, a, a lot of people, a lot of interest in, in this, and we were, it's, it's nice to see a lot of people want to volunteer <coughs> and, um, we we met with with um, twelve. Uh, actually, we had thirteen. 13. We did, we did meet with one person, um, and we sat down and we wanted to ensure that um, that each applicant knew that the priorities that of you know to be a working committee, and we wanted to get stuff done, and um, you know everyone. I think that. Mayor Jett and I kind of discussed, and, and, and Mayor Jett's recommending, a, and also as part of the ordinance council has, uh, the mayor would be part of the commission and, um, and, and uh, recommending Alderman Glab as well. Um, so there would be nine members in addition to the uh, seven members uh, of the uh, commission uh, recommending the chairman as uh, Bobby Beatty, vice chairman uh, Robert Jessup. So we we wanted a diverse group. Uh, we wanted a group of people, not necessarily all business people, but people who are community minded, because economic development is not just about uh, business necessarily. Um, and it, it was it was a the group I think is 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 a, is, a, is a great group. So we were very excited. So I'm happy to. I look forward to working. Thank you, Doug. And I'll, I'll say as well, um, you know, meeting with uh, these individuals, uh, not only are, do they either own businesses or just uh, residents in the, in the community, um, I think this group is a stellar group. I think we will get a lot done and accomplished uh, through this fiscal year uh, for these appointments. Um, you know, happy to have, you know, put Andy Glab uh, uh, part of this as well and uh, look to uh, working with these individuals. So. Um, you know, I'll open it up to any discussion from council at this point. Alderman um, Cunningham? Not a discussion as much as that I'm really excited to see this move forward. Obviously, ever since um, the economy crashed years ago, we've been struggling to rebuild um, the community um, with a good economic base. And um, Doug Martin's done a phenomenal job 
of attracting new business to McHenry and retaining business as well. But um, as I say, it takes a village. So I think the group of people that have been appointed to this um, come from different backgrounds and are a little bit of eclectic and, and can really make a difference in moving us forward on um, a good, solid economic base. So I'm really excited to see this move forward. Thank you. Paul McCartney. Uh, well, I like that. I'm certainly excited that we've been talking about this for a while and getting this restarted. So I think this is a good thing. I did a quick question on the, uh, <coughs> the, one, the one application for this uh, California address. Um, yeah, that's um, that, did you want me to? Yeah, go ahead. That's um, uh, Robert Jessup. He's right. uh, uh, president of Jessup Manufacturing. Um, yeah, it's a little unusual. Um, you know, and, you know, Mayor Jett appointed him as, as vice chairman. And, you know, I was a little surprised. He was very, very excited about this and was not in the least. Um, bit um, apprehensive about accepting that vice chairmanship. I thought he might be overly busy. Obviously, he couldn't make the meeting. I don't think that's indicative of his commitment because um, when we were setting up the interviews, he emailed us and said um, he was in communication multiple times. So, you know, I, I the, the company's been in here 60 years and they have a facility in Lake Bluff and I was I was very blown away by that. So I, I took that as I, w I was very excited. I, I don't think we would have uh, wanted uh, somebody to be vice chairman who was not going to be committed. And I don't think he, I, honestly, I don't think he, he would have done it if he, if, he, if, he, if, he, if he wasn't all in. So we don't anticipate, I mean, we're going to have meetings, right? So. <laughs> Coming from California for meetings? He, he's, his business is here. Yeah, yeah no, no, I understand that part, but I, he, he just gives an address in California. Just, so does he live here, actually? He lives in the area, yeah, within. He, yeah, he's. I, I, he where he actually lives. Yeah, I mean, he's all, I mean, I don't know his schedule, but, you know, they, they've got a facility in Lake Bluff. They've got a facility, yeah. of course, on Route No, I'm not, I was just, it was just unusual to see it. Home address in yeah. California is like you got to come to meetings and yeah, and he's came to a lot of meetings here at the city with with us. Yeah. And, you know, so is, okay. That, that was the only question. Sure. No, I, I yeah, anticipate yeah. an issue there, but no. And we act, actually, when we met with everyone, uh, we wanted to do at least once a quarter, um, but I would like to even see us do a meeting every two months. And he was no issues with that whatsoever. Okay. Right. So. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion on this item? I, I just uh, I'm excited to see this get off the ground again. I hope that um, they can uh, learn from the past and it doesn't turn into a group like it was when the last one ended that was somewhat not really active and and uh, more of a social real estate gathering kind of a thing. So I'm looking forward to uh, that's why I asked for it to reiterate the the actual goal and mission and type things for this group, so I'm excited to see that. One. <coughs> Thank you, Alderman uh, Alderman Sandy. Sorry, I don't want to uh, just to <coughs> reiterate what some of the other uh, Alderman have mentioned is that I look forward to this group uh, kicking in gear and get and get going again, and hopefully, uh, and actually meeting. I, I know some of the names here, but actually meeting everybody and uh, and uh, you know getting. Uh, Good perspective on the group, and I think it's got a. Uh, uh, looks like what I can tell. I never have met Mr. Jessup, but um, it looks like it's uh, you know a good leadership group, and look forward to uh, a lot of uh, interesting concepts and ideas coming out of this group in the near future. Um, one other thing: How soon do you anticipate the first meeting? Um, <laughs> we, um, you know, we, we contacted everybody, um, and the one thing I also wanted to say is you hate to say no to a volunteer, and, and people were also just interested in saying, you know, if something else comes up. So we've got a list of people who want to be called, you know, if there's an opportunity. So I think, you know, 
assuming everything goes as planned, you know, we're going to be on the phone tomorrow and say, uh, I mean, uh, probably setting up a meeting with the chairman, vice chairman, and then I think the most important thing we heard probably is, is the schedule. We said once a quarter, we, uh, we said we'd like to do maybe more than that, but it, we would want to be realistic. So, but we, in order to do that, I think we have to pick dates. So, ASAP. Okay, and that's what I was hoping. And I do understand the people that, on, that are on this list are very busy people, but it'd be nice to have, I think it's, I, I think we need more than once a quarter, but obviously I know scheduling um, <clears throat> will be an issue. And just to um, relieve some fears, I know with Bobby Bainey as chairperson that it will be on task and not a social <laughs> event. So <laughs> I'm sure that uh, it will. Uh, no, just that I think that that's good. I, I know you'll keep it on task. Any other discussion? This time I'm going to open up to the public for any public input. Is there anyone in the public that would like to make public comment? See none. At this time I'm going to look for a motion uh, to approve fiscal year 2017-18 annual appointments of the Economic Development Commission members. Uh, Do I have a motion? Alderman McCann? I will make the motion to approve Pat Arnold, Bobby Bainey, Andy Glad, Robert Jessup, Wayne Jett, Eric Dorn, Michael Marachek, Jeff Pittman, and Jason Stewart to the uh, Economic Development Commission for this year through April 30th of 2018. Thank you. A second? All in divine? Thank you. Any other discussion on this item? Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Curry? Yes. Alderman Santee? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Glad? Yes. Alderman Mehevit? Yes. Alderman Devine? Yes. Alderman Conley? Yes. All eyes there. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Uh, I look forward to working with all of you, uh, and so this Council and staff, so I appreciate the five of you that did show up. I appreciate it. So uh, we, we really appreciate you signing up for this, and I uh, look forward to working with you. So thank you. Uh, at this time, we'll move on to staff reports. Uh, any staff reports for this evening? Uh, Carolyn? Yeah, well, there's a report in there. Um, I don't really have anything to add, but okay. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions on the first quarterly report. Okay. Any other staff reports? Seeing none. Uh, moving on to mayor and city council comments. I have no comments for this evening. Uh, any city council comments? Alder Schaefer? I'd like to just get some feedback on the uh, letter received from the resident on Kensington Drive regarding the, the garbage situation. Just if we can get some follow up from that discussion. Appreciate that. No problem. Alderman <coughs> Glenn? Yeah. Basically, what it was is the uh, association that's behind them. Um, they were asphalting your driveway. I got that. I want to know what he said. So, oh, I'm sorry. What he? Yeah. What the resident who complained said when he was given that All right. description. Okay. We'll get that letter. Thank you. All right, Greg. A couple of comments. Uh, one, I appreciate the uh, quarterly financial report. It takes takes a bit of work on Carolyn's part, and uh, it's it's nice to have. So I appreciate that. And two, the members of the EDC that are here, if they would hang around, would certainly like to meet them. Thank you. All right, Connie. Um, I just wanted to publicly thank the mayor and the police chief for attending the Not One More Illinois support, family support group. Um, they made a huge impact on those um, in recovery and, and those families that are struggling. I'm on the board and, and uh, as a counselor help with that group and, and they were asking for um, community to be present at some of the meetings and I think they were thrilled with hearing from the chief and, and um, I hate that so often in the community we see a, you know us versus them with the police department and I think you did a wonderful job in dispelling that and, and showing that there really is care for our citizens and it's really no, no matter what um, their background and, and the mayor spoke as well and it was really nice to have both of you present and I wanted to acknowledge both of you for doing that. Thank you. It was, it was great to do that, so. All the Lynn Just a, a second comment. Thank you very much, Carolyn, for the report. Uh, 
nice to see those courses. Any other comments from council? All the comments? Motion to adjourn. A second. Alderman Curry. Second. <coughs> Clerk, please call the roll. Santi. Excuse me, Alderman Santi. Yes. Alderman Schaefer. Yes. Alderman Ladd. Yes. Alderman Mahavik. Yes. Alderman Devine. Yes. Alderman Condon. Yes. Alderman Curry. Yes. Thank you. I'm not going to waste it.